Hi all, Callie here with Gedelnet, and today I'm going to walk you through Microsoft Teams, a collaborative workspace. It's the central hub for connection and collaboration, bringing together people, conversations, content, dashboards, and all the tools that you need. These five tabs across the side are where you can interact, collaborate, and access everything. We'll start right here in Teams. These are the workspaces for people that are working towards a common goal where they can come together, they can collaborate. Um, you are able to send messages, attachments, you could start a video chat right here as well. All of this is logged, so if you ever need to look back on a conversation, it'll all be saved right here. These five tabs across the top are customizable. From team to team, it can look really different depending on what you need. We'll click first into Power BI. This pulls in the dashboard from Microsoft's Business Intelligence tool. So as you can see, I didn't have to navigate away from Teams to be able to look into these deep dive insights. Next, we'll look at files. These files are pulled in from SharePoint, so you can collaborate and access organizational documents in real time. This allows you to view, edit, or share these documents. And as you can see over here on Thursday's call notes, the permissions that are managed in SharePoint apply here to Teams as well. Next, we'll move on to chat. These are those ad hoc conversations that you need to have outside of the team. So these could be one-on-one -on -one conversations or you could add up to nine other people. And if we add somebody else to a conversation, it'll start a new thread. Chat is also accessible from any part of Teams from this icon right here. Meetings is the next tab we'll look at. This pulls in your Office 365 calendar. So you could join the meeting right here. You can add new, um, new attendees. You could create a new meeting. This is both for audio and video meetings. Activities, you can look through your Teams activities or your personal activities. If you needed to look through and find something specific, you can filter for unread, mentions, replies, anything that's going to help you get to what you need to get to. Down here we have files. Again, these are the ones they're pulled in from SharePoint. You can update them here and those, you know, they'll be applied across all versions. Edit, share, um, view these documents right here from Teams. These are SharePoint documents. If you needed to share outside of your organization, you can get a link right here. And as you can see, it pulls up. You could copy and paste that right into an email to somebody else, and they would be able to view that document. Another cool little feature is uh, are these arrows. You can go back. You can go forth just like a browser. So right now, I'm using Teams desktop application, but you can also access Teams through a browser by logging into Office 365. The mobile app is also pretty handy. If you need to stay connected with your team on the go, it's right there. All of the versions, you don't lose form and functionality across any of them. They're all really similar in their look and in their function. So Teams is available to Office 365 users who have Business Essentials, Business Premium, or if you have Enterprise 1, 3, or 5 subscriptions, or existing um, Enterprise 4 subscriptions. Thank you so much for watching this quick little overview of Microsoft Teams. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Gedelnet. Thank you.